15 years in jail for something that he didn't do. After his conviction was quashed, he became involved in wider justice issues and set up uh, the Miscarriage of Justice organization to support others. In the early days of the Jonestown Not Guilty campaign, it was quite difficult to get public figures to come out and publicly uh, support that campaign because of the sheer ferocity of the media lies campaign that was in full flow at that point. But Paddy uh, stood up and spoke up in support of Jonestown uh, Not Guilty very clearly and very strongly from, from the off. Um, Solidarity is very, very proud that we're able to welcome Paddy Hill here today. Paddy, please. Thank you. Well, as everybody said, the organ member of the war last Thursday. I was down in Birmingham last Thursday getting reconvicted for the fucking Birmingham pub bombings. And I mean that in all honesty. There's a thing down there, the inquest, and it's just another white voice and another cover up, just like all governments. But I'm very proud to be here. And you know, when I got the verdict, they went, fuck you, why didn't you go to jail? I wanted to come back here to start a fucking revolution. <laughs> I had to put the body cover back in the case and put the revolution off for a few months. You never know, we might have to start up when the next 11 come up. But hey, what a wonderful result. And thankfully, we got a true, royal, and just jury because the establishment never expected them to come up with a not guilty verdict. The establishment was dying to get them convicted because they knew if they did, it would help to put a, a, a stop to other protests. Well, as I said before, there's a lot more of us than there is of them. And as long as we stand united, we will win every little war. What we got last week was a little battle. It's just one battle along the road of the future where there's going to be a lot more little battles. And believe me, no matter what they throw up, we will take all these little battles in our stride and we will win them. And the, big, and the first thing we've got to remember, solidarity, yeah, but you've got to look at the big picture. These are just little, little battles. The big picture is the war. And believe me, if we united, we will win the war. And we will get rid of the fucking Irish Mafia sitting up on the doll. <laughs> Sooner or later, this country is going to have a revolution. Because that's what the government's aiming for. And I'm, I'm disgusted the way this country has gone in the last 25 years. Instead of going forwards, they're going fucking backwards. But of course, it's all about them and the doll and the friends and big business and the banks. Hey, it wasn't due to people that caused austerity. It was them. And they all tell you, we're in it together. Well, I'll tell you what, there's none of you in it when they're getting 150,000 euro a year wages. And we're not in it together when the bankers get their millions of euros by bonuses. Yeah, for what? For ruining the fucking country. You couldn't have done a better job if you'd been paying them to ruin the country. And yet they're supposed to be there for you, the, the Labour Party, the People's Party. What a load of shit. The only thing they're good for when they get in there is laying in their own fucking pockets. And that's all they're interested in. When they come for your vote, When the next elections come around, put your own people up against Joan Burton and all the rest of them, and then that, get your own people in the government. Because the sooner you do that, the more people that we get of our own in the down, the sooner we can get rid of a lot of them. And you know what? Once we get rid of them, that's just one half of the battle. The second half of the battle is getting rid of the fucking Catholic Church because they have a lot the, a lot the answer for in this country. They've kept the people of Ireland ignorant. Yeah, but we've learned over the last 40, 50 years. We ain't ignorant anymore. We have learned, we've been educated, and we're going to get a lot better as we go along. As we sp spoke about earlier, Jeremy Corbyn with the youth movement over in England, 
yeah, it was great to see them. And as I said, if there was an election in the next few months, believe me, Jeremy Corbyn will win it hands down and we get rid of fucking the blues and the austerity programme. When the austerity programme came in over in England, hey, it didn't stop them assholes giving themselves a 10% red pay raise 10, uh, 18 months ago. And it didn't stop them giving the Queen another 10 million fucking pound. For what? She's one of the richest fucking people in the world. If she needs 10 million pounds, why don't she sell a couple of her fucking paintings in Buckingham Palace? In fact, if they sold all the paintings in Buckingham Palace, they'd be able to pay off the debt. And there's no worrying about that. But yeah, I'm so proud to be here today. It was a verdict that I was expecting, because I knew there was no way could you be found guilty. And I mean that, and I said it the last time it was over. And if they had found you guilty, it would have been one of the biggest injustices that this country has suffered for a long, long time. And thank God you didn't go to jail, because believe me, there's nothing fucking worse than being in jail for nothing. And you were going to go to jail for nothing, just for having the balls to stand up for yourself. You've got those in the dial running scared now, because they've realised just how powerful you, the people, are when you stand together. And they are now terrified, but the best thing about it is by the time they got fucking terrified because they've been terrifying us for long enough. It's time to put the boot on their foot. And sooner or later, you're going to get what you want. Sooner or later, you're going to change everything in the dial. And the way you're going to do it is by getting ordinary people like yourselves in. Because believe me, you couldn't do a fucking worse job than what they're doing up there now. <laughs> and the next time, when the other 11 come up, let's hope all the charges are dropped before they get to jail. Let's hope they get stopped before, dropped before they even go to court. Because if there's any common sense in it, but of course, there is no common sense in the doll. Common sense when they're going to do it goes out the fucking window. And what these people, these 11, I hope and pray to God that they get dropped before they go to court. Because if they do, hey, it's going to show you just how much the people in the doll are running fear of you. United we stand. Divided we fall. Well, they divided us enough in the past. They're not going to fucking divide us in the future. In fact, they're going to unite us. And that's what's going to carry the weight in this country. United with everyone, with every social injustice, no matter what it's against, no matter who it's against, we have to stand together because there's a hell of a lot more of us than there is of them. Thank you.